Okay, lights are all set. You ready for the next one then? Better hurry! Fuck, Spike, the whole goddamn district went down. What the hell's going on? Ugh, not again. All right, listen. There's a power substation near you. Go check it out. Hey, this blackout has really put us in a tight spot. We're defenseless here. Plus the safe zones and some of my traps are down too. We need to get the power up and running ASAP. the substation reset. But if the grid's shorted once, you know it could happen again, right? You leave the electrical engineering to me, okay? Just get your ass to a safe zone. You're gonna have to spend the night there.
What can I do for you? I just saw this freaking weird zombie. He's covered in big green blisters. It, it hauled ass as soon as it spotted me. You know anything about it? <laughs> Not enough information, I'm afraid. But if you see another one, do let me know. Okay, give me a sec. First of all, you did great out there. From now on, if you need something, come see me. And to start with, use a UV flashlight and a remote control. You run up on a volatile, give him a face full of UV, or lead him into a trap which you can trigger with that remote. You got it? Got it. Perfect. Now for the bad news. Despite your efforts, Brecken's mission failed. Oh, shit, is he okay? He's alive. But you need to get back to the tower. Jay called all the scouts in, and that means you.
Crane here. Report. I'm about to have a meeting with the tower's leader. Acknowledged. Confirm his identity and contact us immediately. Brecken's mission failed. Jade called a meeting in the tower. It's my opportunity to finally meet with Brecken and confirm his identity. Listen, Brecken and a team of runners went after an airdrop last night. He lost the rest of his team to biters and then Ryze's men ambushed him, beat him to a pulp and stole the drop. Now Brecken wants to go after the next drop himself, but we can't let him. And you've got to back me up, okay? For God's sake, you can't even walk straight. We need you alive, you idiot. Okay, we're going in. Act confident. Brecken? Lena? Maybe you can get through to him. Jade, who's your friend? Kyle Crane. Look, Brecken, the last thing we need is for you to go back out there. We can figure out another way without jeopardizing you. Right, Crane? I'll go. I'll do it. Right? Yes. Crane will go. He'll be happy to. Jesus. No offense, friend, but you're as green as grass. You can't just... Crane will manage. He'll start in the right spot. And Lena's right. You need to be here taking care of the towers, convincing them the world's not over yet. Oh, hell. Maybe one more try before we go to Rice. Yeah. Okay, fine. Good luck, Crane. Jade, a moment. Sure. Head for the cauldron. I'll be in touch shortly. Look, there's something else we need to discuss. Brecken was hurt pretty bad out there. Worse than he wants people to know. He took a blow to the head. Now he's starting to have seizures, and I don't have any Lora tracks. Yeah, I doubt anyone does. Anti-seizure drugs were being passed out like candy when the infection first started. And the stores ran out weeks ago. Yes, that's right. How do you know that? Look, what do you need me to do, Lena? There's a man in town named Ghazi. He's not altogether there, if you know what I mean. His mother had epilepsy, so he used to pick up medicine for her each month. She died two years ago. 
but Gazi kept going to the store to pick up her prescription. He likes his routine, and Gazi can be very insistent. So, they kept giving it to him. Think he's been stockpiling it all this time? If he hasn't, I don't know where else we're going to get it from. Gazi lives under the overpass. And don't mention his mother's death. He won't understand. <laughs> 